Hi again, here we are talking about Xcode and creating this to-do app and we've got our date set up, we updated our database. Um, now we need to save the date with our to-do items with core data, okay? So pretty much everything from here is gonna, or most of everything is gonna happen in uh, to-do manager, okay? So the only thing that's not gonna happen in to-do manager is um, di maybe displaying the date in the view controller, okay? So I'm going to switch to to do manager here and the first thing I want to do is find add new to do with name okay um, this function here you know is where we create a new to do and so if we create a new to do item here um, and we want to include a date with it now we'll have to also include a date here and pass that in and set the date as a property on the to do item so uh, so here's add new to do with name and there's the name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a comma here and put a date and type it as NS date. And now we're going to get an error because when we call on add to do with name, um, you know, we're not including the date, right? So uh, I'll build there and then it says all oh, build failed, right? Well, of course, we knew that was going to happen because... Um, when we go to add to do view controller, you can see here we're calling to do manager shared instance. So right now I'm in add to do view controller in the save button tapped method. And then it says manager shared instance, add new to do with name, right? And so it says missing parameter date in call because we don't have the date in here. So let's put a comma here and then say, um, what should we do here? We should pass the uh, the date, right? So why don't we put date there? Um, we'll add the argument, and then we'll pass date. This is really like self dot date, but I think date will do for us, right? Okay, so you tap the the save button, and you know the date gets passed in here, and then everybody's happy. So uh, so now let's go back to to do manager. So if we do a command B for build it should build, it says build succeeded, so we know that that's working, right? Okay, so now that we've passed the date in here, we actually have to save it on a to-do item, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type to-do here, so we've set the name and the completed property, so we're back at add to-do with name, right? And uh, we've got name and completed, and if I hit the, the period there, you'll see it says date now, right? Or the date property should be listed as one of the properties on to-do, and if we hold the option key and click on it, you'll see that it, the type is NS time interval. So we have a little trouble here because this is an NS date coming from our, our add to do view controller, right? Because that guy stores an NS date, um, but this is an NS time interval. So how can we make those two match? Well, um, actually, NS dates have a, um, what is it? It's like time interval since... 1970. <clears throat> so this method converts the date into an NS time interval. And so now, now it'll be compatible, right? And if we, you know, option click on this, you can see that this is an NS time interval. Okay. So anyway, so there's our date, right? Um, let's, uh, let's save that. And uh, let's add a couple to do's. We're gonna have one to do that doesn't have a date, the very first one. We might have to delete that one. Well, we'll just leave it for now. I think it'll be okay. So let's uh, let's add a couple to do's with dates. So I'll tap the button here. I'll add a to do called uh, draw pictures. And then I'll save it. And then I'll add another to do here, make it eat. Um, soup and then uh, save it and then we'll do another one here that's like um, make shoes I don't know I'm just thinking of things to do right so there we go we got we got a four to do's and now maybe you know that seems to be working so now maybe we want to display the date underneath the to do right so uh, we're using the I'm going to go to storyboards now and look at the cell right here. That's the cell we're using to display our, um, our to-do item. 
and right now it's a it says custom cell um, I'm gonna switch it to subtitle and that'll give me the regular title and then there'll be a little line below it and maybe we'll put the date on the subtitle okay so I'll save that and then go back to, to, to uh, view controller right and what I'm looking for here is cell for row at index path, okay? So, uh, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, cell for row at index path. And what I want to do is I want to get the date and format it, okay? So why don't we do this? Let's make a date formatter first. So I'll say let uh, formatter equal ns date formatter and then we'll say formatter dot uh, date style equals we'll do full style you could do your own style or set a custom style I'll just use this one for now and then we can change it later if it you know if we decide we want to do something custom right um, so now that we've got our formatter we can format the date and put it into the text field right so uh, so First of all, we got to get the date as our NS interval and then, you know, convert it into a date object. So let's do this. Let's say let date equal NS date. And then the date we can we can initialize in several ways. So if we just initialize it this way, it's just the current day. But we can also, you'll notice down here, we can initialize it with an NS time interval, right? So we'll initialize it this way, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to say NS time interval, and our NS time interval is coming from to do as the, the date property, right? So now we have a date, we have a formatter, so we can say, you know, cell dot um, detail text label dot text equals formatter dot um, string from date and then our date is called date okay so there's our date there it's from over here right and then we'll save it and uh, give it a test so I'll, I'll click the run button Oh, look at, there we go. So Wednesday, December 31st, 1969. This one didn't have a date, remember? So so that's the one that's the problem, right? Oh, look, December 1st, December 1st, December 1st. Let's add another thing. Um, uh, let's say uh, take the day off is something I need to do. And I need to do that on uh, Fri uh, Saturday the 10th, okay? So I'll save that. And then it says Saturday, December tenth, take or December fifth, take the day off, right? So I think it's I think it's kind of working there, right? Um, so anyway, so there's your there's your date as part of your to do item, okay? And uh, thanks for watching.